Hey everybody, uh, hope you guys are having a nice weekend, hope the weekend gonna be too wet bad for you, but let's get to this video. So I don't know how this guy even gets to the level of notoriety that he gets to, but you know what, given how much the, you know, western left, especially in America, is, it's not too surprising, but I don't know how else to say this. But reactionaries, by definition, aren't and can't be comrades. And, and I don't know how else to really kind of hone that point in. Like, it's not just, oh, you're gatekeeping leftism. Oh, oh, you, you, you have to convert the da-da-da-da. You have to aspire class consciousness. That's not what I'm talking about, right? Reactionaries, by definition, can't be comrades. You can't take someone who's a bigot and make them a comrade. Not before you actually deal with the bigotry. Uh, but none of you all doing that. You're just saying don't push people away. But it's like, what are you talking about? These like this idea that socialism is for everybody, which is not the case. It's never been the case throughout history. There have been people who it's not been for, and not every one of those people have been a part of the ruling class. So I, I just think that needs to get through people's heads. Um, everyone wants to talk about class solidarity and class conflict, but no one ever talks about class collaboration and what that actually is. Class collaboration is when segments of the working class align themselves with segments of a ruling class for some common goal. That's what class collaboration is, and that is, by definition, what a lot of these bigots are doing. They are aligning themselves with the capitalist class to get what they want out of it in exchange for stopping any sort of working workers movement without stopping any sort of progress without stop, stopping any any movement towards socialism that's what they do that's their whole goal so i don't know this idea where this person caleb Moppin, um uh, believes that you know you can you you have to kind of hold on to these these reactionaries and you know maybe that's because he's a reactionary himself um in an effort to build the socialist movement when these people literally hate socialism but because they are bigots, by the there's not that they're confused and they just don't understand. They hate socialism because socialism means people that they view as non-human get to have the same material access they have, and they don't want that. Not to mention the fact that, like, for the large majority of the population, at least within America, these people who hold these reactionary views more often than not aren't working. They're not part of the working class. The people who are part of the working class, the lump of proletariat, who are pushed towards the edges because of disability are more often than not marginalized. They are the groups that these reactionaries hate. And most of these reactionaries, a, a large proportion of them, are petty bourgeoisie and la labor aristocrats. And it's not that it's impossible for them to change, but to make your whole politics or the majority of your politics trying to go after them seems almost contradictory towards going towards socialism. It's just that simple. They don't want it. It's not that they don't understand it. They don't want it because they won't want people who look like me to get what they not even what they have, but like have an equal playing field. They want to be brought down to my level and they don't definitely don't want me to bring bring me up to theirs. So until you can get that through your head, you're not doing anything but spinning your wheels. Peace.